Good afternoon all. I, Dr. Deepali Hande, coordinator of IAP WC Ahmednagar, along with Dr. Tejas Borgar and Dr. Trupti Gupta, sub-coordinator of Ahmednagar IAP WC, Women's Cell, welcomes you all for today's interview session. This year, IAP WC Maharashtra district teams decided to interview female physios who are doing exceptionally well in sports area to salute the spirit of womanhood on the occasion of International Women's Day 2024. Now, I would like to request Dr. Tejas to start the interview. Thank you, ma'am. So today with us, we have Ms. Aditi Rane, who is a third DPTA student at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam College of Physiotherapy, Travara Institute of Medical Sciences. So first of all, uh, on behalf of IAPWC Ahmednagar, we would like to congratulate Ms. Aditi Rani for getting selected for this interview. Uh, welcome, Aditi. So uh, to summarize her sporting achievements, she has participated in under-17 state-level cricket tournament in 2018-19. She was selected for under-17 national girls cricket tournament from Maharashtra State in 1920. She was winner of under-17 DSO girls cricket tournament 2018. She also participated in various school events for short put, uh, 400 meter relay, freestyle swimming, and also bagged uh, first and second positions yeah. respectively. She has also participated in school level swimming competitions at for me 2019, and also bagged second position in 50 meter freestyle. She has participated in under 17 girls district level basketball competition in year 2019-20, and bad second position for the team. She interviewed Mr. Kuldi Piyadav, player of Indian national cricket team under sixth edition of the webinar series Breaking Barriers in 2020. She has also participated in National Physiotherapy Sports Week 2023, organized by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam College of Physiotherapy, and also bad first position at national level football competition. She has participated and won second position in college level cricket tournament in Padmanjali 2022. She has also participated in college level cricket tournament uh, Asia on and won first prize as a captain. She has participated in basketball and cricket tournament at college level as well as the university level and backed first position in both. And she has also uh, participated in inter university basketball matches which were held at Pune at uh, Srimati Kashibai Naule Medical College in 2023. So Aditi, uh, I'm sure there are a lot many achievements uh, which are there, which are really appreciable and they are more than any of the uh, known people who are uh, students because we need definitely encouragement for all these students uh, through you. So I would like to ask you a few questions uh, regarding same. So as uh, we saw that your interest is in cricket and basketball, so what motivated you to select cricket or uh, basketball? I have uh, always shared a dear passion for outdoor sports. So uh, my calling for basketball and cricket came when I enjoyed the outcomes that I got out of them. So like teamwork, acceptance, rejection, all of these things are important lessons in life. And I wanted to strive for them. I wanted to seek them. So. Thank you, Aditi. Uh, can you tell us about your inspiration? Who has been your inspiring figure or idol in the sport? My father has always been my number one inspiration. Uh, growing up with a father with two daughters, he has always supported us to enroll in every co-curricular activity. He is himself a state-level basketball and handball player. So I remember him telling uh, stories about his basketball matches and my eyes would sparkle instantly. And at that moment, I knew that I had to make him proud of himself for raising daughters that value sport and respect sports. Thank you. That's really great to hear. Now, have you faced any challenges in uh, your sports or in your curriculum academics? I think I speak for uh, all the students that are out there when I say that uh, sports and academics go hand in hand. Uh, if you flourish in one, you flourish in the other. And uh, if you devote yourself to one, then you are bound to devote yourself to the other. 
but even if the experience down for in one you learn the lessons out of it and then you apply those lessons in the other so i think compartmentalization is very important and that is what i i guess aditi has summarized really well that how we can manage sports with our academics so in a short she has really explained us that compartmentalizing it will be really better for students and definitely it will encourage students to participate in both uh, how do you how do your college support you aditi here for participating or encouraging to participate ever since i joined uh, dr apj abdul kalam college of physiotherapy i have met with a wonderful team of professors and coaches they have guided me they have helped me they have aided me in every endeavor uh, i have been provided with substantial opportunities to showcase my talents and i appreciate them all thank you aditi moving on uh, you mentioned that uh, downfall so i would like to know if any downfall was there during your course and how you overcome it i wouldn't exactly say i faced a downfall my uh, parents and my family were very uh, sure that i do not encounter such downfall but i did struggle uh, with my sport because uh, it was the year 2008 Uh, my school had just formed a girls cricket team and i knew i wanted to play more i wanted to practice more but uh, i belong to a very small town called gozar and uh, it has a huge ground but back then not a single lady would come to the ground so it was very difficult for me to go there and practice among all the men it was a bit discomforting but the soon i went i realized that they were very welcoming and i had to overcome it that's great to hear that being a female physio and you could uh, overcome your fears i would say or you could participate with everybody else with equal uh, opportunities and equal strength so uh, being a physio and a sports person how do you incorporate your knowledge with your sports as i devoted myself to being a physio i understood uh, the mechanism of how the body works and it was very intriguing i i realized the importance of maintaining a good posture i also realized the importance of uh, stretching prior to doing any exercise and that is what helped me to set my goals improve on myself and as well as assist others in working and keeping a balance between their sports and their body definitely i would like to say yes uh being a physio and being a sports person is a dual advantage that you can be better in sports as well as learning those experiences and sportsmanship will help as a physio as well so would you like to give any message to other fellow female physios maybe a student maybe a professional because definitely seeing your uh, answers uh, it is really inspiring and it should be inspiring for everybody so can you give us some message yes i would like to convey this to all the female physios out there that uh, one should not hold back you know if the uh, road ahead is not clear we have to seize the opportunity because nobody else is going to pave that way for us and we have to do it to make ourselves feel powerful and confident and uh, i want every female physio out there to take new steps and step out of their comfort zone and you know strive for improvement that is what i like to convey really nice aditi yes everybody must break that barrier uh, and they should step out of the comfort zone because unless or until you step out of that you won't achieve success rightly said so i would like to request our district coordinator dr dipali hanne ma'am to kindly shed a light or share her views on see Aditi, many congratulations for all your achievements, and um, we all really feel blessed that uh, uh, we have female physios, and our you know future of uh, physiotherapy is uh, uh, well taken care by you all. And uh, I wish you all the best, and uh, thank you so much for sparing time for the interview. And I wish you a very happy International Women's Day. I hope. all the female physios who are going to watch your interview uh, would be inspired by you 
and that uh, they will always think that it is not only about academics when they are going to face the life in future there are different things where we can do a excellent job and yes with your interview we know that being a physio it's definitely a added advantage for sports person and um, uh, with joy it also gives us fitness so that's very important and being physiotherapist when we are giving mantra of fitness we all have to follow this so this is a very good message that you have given and uh, thank you so much for the interview and best of luck for your future thank you thank you aditi uh, i would like to take this opportunity to thank our iap president dr sanjeev jha iapwc national head dr ruchi vashne ma'am and state coordinator dr suvarna ganjir ma'am and state team for giving us this opportunity and coming up with this nice idea of interviewing and inspiring fellow physio uh, female physios thank you so much